guys, it's Eva and today I'm going to be making Colin the Caterpillar cookie dough. So as you might know, if you're in the UK, there's a shop called M&S and they're really good for their Percy Pigs and Colin the Caterpillar sweets. So if you're not in the UK, then you're missing out, but I'm sure you'll be able to find some somewhere, but they are amazing. And I just thought cookie dough is really good. So I just thought, let's just do this all together at Combined. So also, I just want to say, I have an Instagram. It is baking.with.eva, so go follow me on that. It will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, turn, put a like if you like this video. Comment down below if you have tried this or any of my other recipes. And also, put, um, subscribe and put the notification on every time I upload a new video, you'll know about it. Okay, so let's get into the video. Ingredients you'll need are 65 grams of plain flour, 55 grams of butter, 50 grams of sugar, 15 grams of cocoa powder, 20 grams of golden syrup, and one tablespoon of milk. Let's get into the baking. Okay, so this first step is very, very, very important because it kills all the bacteria. So, the first thing you're gonna do is grab your flour and a bang marie so it's got water underneath and it's got a heat proof bowl so i'm going to put all my flour in here and then we're going to put it on here just for like a couple 60 ish seconds just so we can get all the bacteria out of here because cooking with plain flour or flour in general you have to get your bacteria out first which is why heating it in the oven is fine but when you have it like raw it's kind of a bit more dangerous because it's got the bacteria in it so that's this is a really really important step and you cannot skip the step i would never skip the step it's so important so please do not so um i'm just gonna heat this and then we're gonna come back here okay so this has been heated up now i recommend to keep stirring this as you go but you know it just so it doesn't burn because you don't want that so i'm going to push this to the side and I've brought my mixer in, my trusty old mixer. And then we are going to grab our butter and put it in the bowl, as well as our sugar and our golden syrup. And then we are, all we're going to do is like just mix this until it's creamed together in a nice fluffy mixture. Okay, so the mixture is done. I'm just going to get everything off of the bottom so we don't have any excess mixture that we can't escape. So that is now all ready. So we're now going to add in all the dry ingredients. So we're gonna add the butter, which is now cool. We're also going to add in the cocoa powder. And then we're going to mix this again. Okay, so this is now done. I'm going to take all of this mixture off of the paddle because as you all know that I like to get every single piece of that ingredient or mixture off of my paddle so I have enough mixture. So I'm just going to take it all off like we normally would. And then I'm going to put that away. Um, and then I'm also going to grab my chocolate chips. So I've got my chocolate chips here. I've taken the bowl out of here. And then I'm going to pour all the chocolate chips in. I'm going to grab my spatula and I'm just going to fold them in. Okay, I've done this and now I'm going to grab a little tray so I can chill it in the fridge. Okay, so I have my tray lined here and I am also going to do a um, gluten free batch. So I will, will just put half in one side and half in the other. You can double the mixture if you are not gluten free or if you are gluten free then just instead of using uh, plain flour use gluten free plain flour it's the same thing so and then double that mixture so i'm just going to pop this in and then put it in the fridge okay so these are done now they've been in the fridge i also decorated them with calling the caterpillar faces as you can buy m s and i've also put some sprinkles on top and this is the um normal one and this is the gluten free one so they do not look any different and it's basically exactly the same method and I doubled both of the mixtures so I'd recommend you do that as well and thank you for watching I hope you really enjoyed these and see you guys next time bye